Yo guys, what's going on? So, I'm back again with another video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an R&B Drake sample, some freestyle vibes. My laptop did just break the other day, so I'm back over on the, uh, the 2011 Mac right now. So bear with me if the quality is a little bit low on this video. I was thinking about doing a GarageBand tutorial, so if you guys want that, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get right into the video. Alright, so yo, now we're in Logic. We're gonna play the sample through right quick. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, you get the point pretty much, just some simple, you know, vibey like Drake kind of shit. So let's get right into how I made that. Started off with this one shot from Coop the Truth. This is exactly how the one shot sounds dry. I just took that and pitch it down two bars later. I pitch it down by five and go up here in Logic, pitch it down. Yeah, and that just repeats. Um, bounce that to audio, and then I added just some RC20 on it, just to give it that vintage feeling. Fill it out a little bit too. Next thing I did was add some perks, just to give it a bounce. Took this uh, one shot out of Nami's kit. Basically what I did is I took some of them and panned them to the right, took some of them and panned them to the left. Alright, next thing I did was add some textures. This is what all of them sound like together. And they kind of sound uh, awkward all together, but when you play them with everything else, it sounds pretty good together. So basically, the only other thing I did with those textures was I pitched this one down 5 on the second bar. So, Pitch it down five just to match the chord, and that's pretty much the common theme with all the textures here. You can do that with a lot of things, especially if it's a minor chord, if you just transpose it down five from the original and that, it's like a whole progression, it's easy. Next thing I added was just this ambience from Nami's kit. Super in the back, added an EQ to that just to cut out some of the low frequencies that I thought were a little bit muddy. Next little texture lead kind of thing I added was also a one shot and I don't have the exact processing in here but basically what I did is I took this one shot. It's like a synth kind of thing and I played a descending melody from the notes in the chord just down like ding ding <laughs> something like that. Sounds fire though. I also added these chimes. You gotta add chimes for like a vintage Drake kind of melody. You can find good chimes on Splice. I mean, anywhere really. At this point, it's pretty much just sounding like a bunch of textures. It's not really like full yet. So I had to add a bass. So yeah, this is from my Omnisphere Bank. It's the bass D preset. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, super simple, just following the root notes of the chords. Next thing I did to also fill it out for another section, I just added this Keyscape piano, the custom bright preset, and I bounced that to audio to save CPU, and that sounds like this. That's super simple, it's just the uh, C minor chord, and then I took the top note, duplicated it down an octave, 
did the same thing right here and for also the chord it's the same chord but i just transposed it down five last thing i did was add this vocal chop mint of Foundra, mint <laughs> Minta Foundry, Anastasia, however you pronounce her name, vocal chops. This is what they sound like without any effects. So you know, they sound pretty soulful, but came here, put this reverb on it from Waves. And I put RC20, the magnitude, transition one. That's the preset I use on every single one of my vocals. And then for the last thing, I just added Decimal, which is a down sampler. It helps give that Drake filtered vibe. And it also distorts it a little bit, so it makes it kind of more authentic to how an old sample would sound. So yeah, all together, this is what it sounds like. Last thing I did was I arranged all the stems out like this, left some space in between them so that there's stems for people who you want to use a loop. I bounced that to audio. After that, you have this, and I pitched it up one semitone up here. So originally, it sounds like this. But after I pitch it up, one semitone sounds like this. I also added these simple drums that sound like this all together with the sample. Yeah, so this is what the kick looks like. Super simple. Wanted to leave it kind of open and I added these little rolls just at the end of every four bars. I added just some simple open hats. This one's playing at the end of every four bars. This one's playing at uh, the end of every two bars. And just added this snare, literally doing nothing. Added some reverb on that. And then this is what you get at the end. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. You guys should let me know down below what you want to see next, and then I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace, motherfucker. I love you, Poppy.